All right, traders, it is time to prepare to trade the best setups at the best prices. In terms of last week, the vast majority and the bulk of my profits of over $20,000 came from buying key support levels as the SPY would recover whenever it hit one of our key support levels after that 30 minute bullish green candle. With that being said, heading into this week, I am planning to do the same exact thing. So let's go over our key levels. So our first level, and this is gonna be considered the higher level, is going to be 433.21. This is the previous closing price, and this is a key support level in terms of the SPY. We have a lot of support at $432, which would be one of our middle best, 433.21, which is our upper best, and then in terms of our absolute lowest as of now, and this one should work the best if we do head down there this week, would be this um, 430 level because this is a very strong support level and there's a gap to fill at this 430 level. And SPY loves having its gap close reversals and it loves reversing at these key support levels that have never been tested, just like it did slightly above our 432 level that was never retested right here. But once it hit our $432 um, level, surely enough, it began to retest. So um, our three levels, 433.21, the previous closing price, that's our highest level. And then um, $432 still has not hit. We should see some sort of move there. And um, $430. If the level's not working out, we get quickly stopped out. One of the best and most secure confirmations you can use is you wait for SPY to drop a little bit, whether that's a gap down or whether, or whether that's um, a downtrend for 30 minutes to an hour plus. And then once it forms that green bullish 30 minute candlestick, that's when it begins to reverse. You can just see, man, look at how well this has been working. Look at every single time SPY has been downtrending on this overall bullish market that we've been in. And when it forms that 30 minute green candle after it's done downtrending, it tends to have a nice spike, a nice mini reversal, especially when it hits a key support level that has not been tested. 432 has not been tested and $430 has not been tested. Those are our favorite levels. We also love a 428.87, right? But just study the short-term trends because this is what's gonna help you is capturing trends, capturing history. And if you've just been studying the overall trend, like I said, whenever the SPY as of recently has been crashing, it begins to reverse and bottom when it forms the first 30-minute green candle, the first 30-minute green candle, the first 30-minute green candle, the first 30-minute green candle. That happened four days in a row. How could people be read? I truly don't get it. I look at the results in trader society and you know, if we were to speak in terms of comparison of other groups and stuff like that, I think we're doing amazing, but we should not be having this many people um, read. You know, in terms of our polls, they're absolutely outstanding, but I expect better results. Um, we had 60 people green, we um, only two red, 57 green, only six red, 69 green, 17 red, 66 green, three red, 44 green, 12 red. I do expect better results, but overall, we, we've had a fantastic week and we will continue to keep that up and we will continue to follow the overall trends. Just understand the best thing you can do in the current state of the market is looking for key support levels that have not been tested or if spies on a downtrend, wait for a 30 minute green candle at a nice support level that has been tested already and then buy into that dip. I truly believe that's the best thing we could be focusing on is buying dips at key oversold levels because it's been working so fantastic. And if you were just to do that the past four days in a row, like we did every single day, where you just wait for it to stop dropping and then you wait for a 30 minute green candle to close, then you start buying the spy, then you start buying the spy, then you start buying the spy, and then you start buying a SPY, you would have made some nice money, man. And we're gonna to continue to do that. SPY has multiple gaps that are waiting to fill above. We have a gap to fill at 436.50. We have a gap to fill at 437. And we have a gap to fill at 439.50. For those of you who want to be bearish, the best advice I can give you is to study the short-term trend. If SPY has a nice pullback towards open or towards the middle of the day, very nice drop, nice drop, nice drop, Nice drop, nice drop. It's been doing that for the first 30 minutes to first hour of the open, right? Wait for it to spike back to the high of day or wait for it to go above the high of day. And then when it forms the first 30 minute red, the first 30 minute red, the first 30 minute red, the first 30 minute red at the high of day or above the high of day or even better at the gap, at the white line, at the previous closing price, at the previous closing price, at the previous closing price, then day trade your puts and then scalp your puts. 
The worst thing you could be doing in this market is focusing, is focusing on put options at key support levels or oversold levels with the SPY. Like I said, wait for the high of day retest, wait for the gap to fill, wait for a high of day breakout. And then when you see a 30 minute red candle, by all means, if you wanna do puts, do your puts. But I'm gonna to continue to focus on what's been working best for me. Um, because like I said, in terms of last week, it was over $20,000 profit. And this is someone who loves being bearish and loves doing put options. But I've just been studying in terms of recently, you know, SPY was on a crazy uptrend. We finally got a nice pullback, but even on the nice pullback, it consistently recovers very, very nicely and very, very early. Once we get that first green 30 minute, the overall trend has been bullish. I understand right now it's going lower and it's gapping down, but I'm not really interested in swing trading in the type of market that we're in. I can care less about swing trading at the moment unless something very good, you know, presents itself. I personally don't like swing trading, especially for the short term, because news can happen overnight. It can gap up. It can gap down massively. It's a coin toss and you cannot control your risk in a coin toss. That's another reason why I don't like earnings, right? You got to be taking very small positions if you're going to be taking high risk like that. I love scalping because there's always an opportunity every single day for scalping. You know, there's day traders who hold their trades for longer periods of time, whether it's 30 minutes, whether hours. I don't really do that. I just like that because um, the market can change extremely quickly in your holding and you can turn a nice win into a nice loss doing that. And sometimes the market's gonna be choppy and it's not gonna be good for holding. But if you're in a choppy market, if you're in an uptrending market, if you're in a downtrending market, bull bear market, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're in. If you are scalping, there is always opportunity and it's not gonna mess with your head. And it's a phenomenal strategy and it's fast, quick, simple money, man. It is very simple. I found it to be personally the easiest way to trade is scalping and that's what I like doing. So I get in now within a couple minutes, five minutes, you know, 10, 15 minutes sometimes, but I get out very, very quickly, take my profits. But um, that's our game plan, man. And I gave you the levels, very, very simple. 433.21, 432, and 430. Those are three levels, also 428.87, right? And then in terms of puts, like I told you, wait for the wait for the high of day breakout wait for one of these gaps to fill so you can write down these levels we have a gap to fill at 436.51 we have a gap to fill at 437 we have a gap to fill at 439.40 and then we have key support that has still never been tested right here at 442. write down all those levels for those of you who want to buy puts wait for a 30 minute red candle and make your money so simple man i'm telling you if you utilize what i'm saying in this video you should do fairly well heading into this week so that's it we're keeping it super simple and then in terms of puts, if you want them so badly, this is a very nice level right here. It topped at 436.99, 437. There's a gap to fill at 437.20. If you see those 437 puts go out of the money, they're likely gonna go back in the money for a quick trade where you buy them out of the money when SPY goes above 437, and then you sell them back in the money for a quick trade. Remember, these are all quick scalps that we're taking advantage to. And another trend that you can bring awareness to as well is, Whenever SPY, to starts, whenever SPY starts to recover throughout the day, look to buy the dip towards the lows. That's another thing you could be looking to do, right? Um, whenever it tries to retest the lows on the day when it starts recovering, look to buy the dip towards there. That's been working amazing. That worked very, very well on Friday. That worked very, very well on this Thursday retest right here. So pay attention to that, man. And that's what I want you focused on. Those are levels for calls. Those are levels for puts. Let us know if you understand, you know, in terms of what we're doing, very, very simple. And the tips I gave you is focus on levels that have not been tested yet. Um, if you see a nice bullish confirmation at a support level that has been tested, especially if SPY has been dropping in the morning, then look for calls into that green bullish 30 once it's closed, right? And then puts, like I said, very, very simple. Wait for the high of day retest, wait for the high of day breakout, wait for a gap to fill. When you see a 30 minute red with one of those three things, the last two would be a better situation. Then you could look to do your puts. That's my overall thoughts in terms of the micro and the short term environment of the market. Um, we are definitely we are definitely going to be seeing some great moves setting up. If you want to be a part of Trader Society, it's going to be the first link down below in the description. When you click that link, it is going to explain to you in terms of everything that is included within this community of Trader Society. If you'd like to join it, it's the first link down below in the description. It is a one time fee and it is lifetime access. I will be alerting every single trade that it is that I make within the live chat every single day. With that being said, we're gonna to continue to crush it. I will see you guys tomorrow, live at Market Open.